Welcome mates, I'm Bloodthirsty Lord by Hinkumi Lordy and today we're back on version 42 once again for another veteran chest unboxing. We're going to be opening 20 chests today, but before we get to this video, make sure you smash that blank like button, let's try to get 200 likes on this video, and also if you want to become part of the Patreon family, you can do so by becoming a member on Patreon, where you get some exclusive rewards and exclusive looks on builds, and also join our Patreon Discord to have some fun times. A link to the Patreon will be in the description below. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. So we have the veteran chest right in front of us. We've got 181 just staring at us and we'll be opening 20. And pretty much the veteran chest is the highest rarity at this very moment. And also it's a special event chest due to the fact that some of your old rewards are getting converted into the new Dawn system rewards. As you can see, it will contain 14 chances for cards or gems. In the diamond chest, you get some other chances, but you only get five chances to get cards, gems and more. So there's some other stuff in there. Obviously, maybe skins. We don't know in the diamond chest. We haven't really opened them yet. We'll be focusing on the veteran chest for today. We've got 20 to unbox. So let's get into it straight away. Let's hope for some epics. Okay, that's a rare. Do we get anything new? Yes, we did. And that was the rare. The sleeper agent. Gag order. That is the active. Silence target enemy for three seconds. The target takes 50% increased damage. What is this card? Imagine support having this card and using it. You can silence the enemy and also do increased damage on them. So your teammates can just demolish them that is insane so let's claim that let's move on to the next one okay another rare but nothing new pretty much the old school stuff that we already had from the last unboxing and some for the last videos so let's keep on going okay another one and we got an uncommon somewhere and that wasn't new okay no new cards we're running out of cards again oh my god okay we got a new card new card okay rare let's see what this is it's a death card. The active is a toxin. Deal 50 damage per second to target enemy for 80 seconds. This damage cannot kill the unit. So this is pretty much like a dot damage ability or dot damage card ability that can do damage towards the target for 18 seconds, 15 damage per tick, but then it doesn't kill the target. So you have to finish them off in some way. So that's really crazy. It's interesting. This has got 80 second cooldown. So you can use it in lane phase just to poke your enemy. Or before you're going to go for a play, just use this card to do extra damage before you kill the unit. That's crazy. Okay, and obviously got some other cards there. Let's move on to the next unboxing. We got Epic Summon. Where's Epic? I want to say, ooh, looks fancy. Looks fancy. Looks like a concept art. That's fancy. The Trapper. The passive on this is called Slowing Strikes. Base attacks reduce enemy move speed by 10 for 5 seconds. Stacking up to 10 times. And max stacks reach your target for 1 second. What is this? Is this phase in basic attack form? Throw a card? What is this? This is insane. Chimera is just praying for something like this to be in his kit. Put this card into the card slot for Chimera and you're pretty much set. That's disgustingly good. And obviously you've got some cards there as well. Let's move on to the next one. I think Epic cards are the most rarest at the moment. And obviously those are Pogchamp cards. Oh, you need more of those. We've got a new card there, so that's pretty nice. Let's keep on going. Another rare somewhere. And another new card here. That's pretty cool. The artwork is just fantastic. Like, it's just visually appealing. I can keep focusing on it. Oh, another epic. And that is a new. We had that last one. Oh, that's so sad. We got that in the last unboxing when they did 10 veteran chess unboxing. Link to that in the description below. Most likely somewhere in this video as well. There might be a card appearing on the screen. Like the top right corner. Click that and you'll be able to watch that. But right now, we're going to continue. Let's see what we get. Come on. Mm, not looking too great. We got a new card there. Whoa, what's this card? This is sick. It's like a Harley Quinn type of skin. If you ever played Assassin's Creed, there's a character called Harley Quinn. Not the DC character Harley Quinn. Assassin's Creed version of it. And it looks like that. That's pretty neat. I like that. It's a nice card artwork. For sure. Let's keep moving on. Epic. Oh my god. Oh no, the same one. What is this? This is like our third time getting it. Yeah, you've got three of them now. Oh my god, that sucks. And we did not get any new cards, sadly. We got some more gems though. New card. That's pretty nice. This guy looks like Elisa from League of Legends. What? What is that? Man, I'm hoping for these epic cards to be dropping like no tomorrow. We need all of them. We need to collect them all. That is the goal. And sadly, no new cards there. Okay, let's keep moving on. Oh, we got a rare. We got a rare somewhere. And it's that one there. This is the card that I mentioned at the very start of the last unboxing. Once we actually got that. The artwork on this is amazing. Does this guy remind you of Marcus from Gears War? Because it does remind me of that. It's so awkward. And then you got the Berserkers here. <laughs> what the hell is going on? These cards are too close to each other. To the game franchise they once had. Oh, epic drop. Please not the same. Oh, it's a new card. Okay, this is cool. This is the card they showcased in um, version 41 in one of their blogs. About version 42. 
and this is the card they showcase. Now we can see the actual unique benefit of it. It's called Awakening the Emmerich. It's the active for this card. It's called Toxic Horde. Convert all nearby minions to your team and grant all nearby minions death touch and drain life. What? So you can give minions a passive, but also control the minions to go to your team. So if the enemy team has like a 12 minion wave pushing to my lane, and then I have my 12 minions pushing against that, I can control and get 24 minions to push a tower, while also having a death touch and draining life mechanic, which I don't know too much about. I need to go double check where those mechanics are, because they sound like they were part of the all prime buff in version 41. That's interesting. We need to double check this card in the future. Oh, and I can't wait for this card to be like at level 7 for the PV. I bet it'd be broken. Oh my god, and this card looks like Graves. <laughs> We've got a card that looks like Chimera by human form. What is this, mates? This is insane. I like it. Okay, we got another thing, six more to open. Okay, nothing new. So when I don't get a new card, and pretty much I'm getting duplicates, it doesn't feel as good. I need new stuff. I need all the content that I need. Oh, epic. Oh, two epics. This looks like Kalari. What is this, mates? This is hype. This is legit hype. Okay, let's see this card. This is a knowledge card that falls under the name of Power Tap. And then the active is called Power Up. Permanently increase power by 15. So if I buy this card and get rid of it, I get 15 power no matter what? What? So I can buy this card in the shop, discard it, and then I have 15 power. That is pretty darn awesome. I like this card. Sadly, you can't get duplicates of this. Imagine getting duplicates and put them within all your deck. So you just keep getting more damage. Oh my god, that would be insane. That's a very good card. That is very good. I wish you have 4,000 currency to use, or gold, but I don't know if you can gain that back once you discard it. That would be interesting. Let's move on to the next card, and it's called Grinning Spectre. And the active for this is called Creeping Death. Launch a slow-moving projectile that deals 300 true damage. If this brings targets below 15% maximum health, they are executed. What? Mate, did you just read that? Did you hear what I just said? This card... Is broken. This is my card. I play Kalari. I'm using this card. I don't care if it obviously I can choose any affinity, but I want this death affinity card in my deck because it looks like Kalari. Oh my god. This is so cool. Oh, it's so cool. I love that. Guarantee these are the two best cards I got of this unboxing. Oh, that was insane. Okay, we got a couple more boxes to open or chest. Oh, what do we get? Nothing crazy. Anything new? No. Sadly, sadly. Let's keep moving on. Okay. Next one, epic. Okay. What do we get? What do we get? No, it's another power tap. <sighs> but I'm guessing if you increase this, like if you level this card up, we have the option to level it up, but I won't do it yet. Obviously, we'll do it in the future video. If I'm able to level up this card, most likely I can get more power permanently for it. And hopefully it stays at the same cost of gold and doesn't get any higher because that'd be pretty good. Man, these card artworks are so fascinating. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Another epic? You're broken. You're so broken. These veteran chests are broken, mates. We got this card again, Domain of the Stillness. We had this in the last unboxing. Pretty much, you're able to stasis yourself and everyone else around you for 2.5 seconds. Broken. I know. Some of these cards just seem too overpowered to be true. But they're in the game. You can use them anytime you want and for interesting mechanics. And now we got a rare. Or two rares. And nothing new. Hey, what the hell? That's the artwork for, um... What's his name? Ghost. The concept art. It's actually on this car. That's sick. Lights their Vanguard. Okay. That's pretty cool. Gets me wondering about some other stuff. But hey, I'm pretty happy. Pretty happy. That was the 20 veteran chest being on the box on the channel. And we got some crazy stuff. Obviously, some crazy ass legendaries just then. And this is really fun. But mates, as always, tell me your opinions and thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you think about the cards that we got from this unboxing? Do you want to see more veteran chest unboxing on the channel in the future? And how many veteran chests did you get in your first time in version 42? Tell me in the comment section down below. So mates, if you did enjoy this video, show us by smashing that blow like button. Let's try to get 200 likes on this video. Makes you want to see more powering gaming content, Fortnite gaming content, and gaming content in general on my channel. All you have to do is share with your friends and hit the subscribe button to become a mate today. And that is all for this video. I will time to go, but don't you worry. Back very soon. Hey, Taz boys, because you ain't seen nothing yet. Mates, I already think that we have all the epic cards because I'm going to keep getting those duplicates like non-stop. I can't put multiple cards in the same deck. It just doesn't work. I wish it did because I would use that power tap card and get amazing amounts of damage permanently then discard it and then put creeping death card that we had before with the one that we got Clara. Just use that non-stop because that is such an amazing card. <laughs>